25 people were arrested on Friday night in an operation conducted by NACADA officials at Shisha Joints in Kilimani, Nairobi. During the raid, 117 bongs were confiscated at the Joka Gardens, which has previously been closed for selling Shisha, which was banned in 2017. In a night-long operation led by NACADA CEO Antonio Merikwa, the team raided Yejoka Gardens in Kilimani, a popular spot for shisha users in Nairobi. <laughs> From one room to the other, groups of three or four people were caught smoking shisha and chewing mira to pass the night away. <laughs> Surprisingly, most of the bongs had customers' names. What I'd like to ask and tell our proprietors and our operators is that uh, the law is very clear. We know what is, is legal, what is legal, what is illegal. In 2017, the government implemented a ban on, on shisha. It, it, uh, the sale was banned, the use was banned. Yes, because we have these rooms. During the operation, 25 people who were found smoking shisha were arrested. 117 bongs were also confiscated at the joint, which has continued to operate despite previous crackdowns. The multi-agency will continue the investigation to get to the bottom of, uh, to the bottom of it. We are trying to look whether this place is licensed, whether they have a valid license. Uh, the public health also come here to see uh, if the premises are in good shape. So the investigations have just begun. Nakada has also defended itself against allegations of carrying out the crackdown only during festivities when all along shisha sale and use has remained a common practice in a number of Nairobi entertainment sports. One of the key aspects is that uh, very many young people get inducted into drug and alcohol abuse during Christmas. Secondly, there's a big correlation between drunken driving and accidents in our country. And it's a very good starting point to to start these crackdowns. In 2017, the government banned import, manufacture, facilitation and consumption of shisha in the country, with those found culpable of the offences liable to fines of not less than 50,000 shillings or a jail term of six months.